Well, Coach, what's the uh, what's the official word? Uh, the official word is that uh, we've been uh, left out of the bowl this year. Uh, and so, unfortunately, we will not get an opportunity, although uh, qualifying for a number of wins did not do enough, I guess, to put ourselves in position to uh, earn a bowl bid. Were you, uh, looks like it was close. Yeah. Um, were you negotiating at the end? Uh, How did that go? Yeah, you know, we were, we were fighting, we were competing. Uh, as of yesterday, I felt confident that we, uh, we had a chance. It was everything totally unofficial and speculation. But just talking back and forth um, with our powers to be or our administrators, along with our conference office, thought that we had chances uh, to be in some bowls that uh, that were vying for us. They had some that were vying for us, and then uh, when some of those were eliminated, I think some of it then went to the different uh, networks that were producing the games, and so they had a voice in it too. It's it's a lot of pieces that or parts that go to making that decision. Um, you know, you know, we just, uh, it's unfortunate, you know, we're very hopeful, had a team meeting today at 2 o'clock, told our team uh, that we were, unfortunately, I didn't have information for them right now, and when you're assur assuring, uh, as we were a year ago, uh, we knew probably about noon before we announced it to the team at 2, and so felt we would know about that time. Uh, the good thing is that they went back and forth, and they, they really struggled we're trying to find a place and a home for all 10 of our teams. Um, and then even then, um, having to leave uh, two teams out and or three total teams out, um, it was still difficult for them. So it, it took a little longer for that decision to be made. Uh, we were patient and we were eager and we were competing to still try to uh, see all the reasons why UTSA and our ability to travel well uh, and to play an exciting brand of football with a defense that was dominant uh, and offense that's optimistic and as we move forward here um, but uh, we fell short when you meet with your team again what will you say to the players now that the season is over yeah we immediately uh, have to reflect on this and use it as a tremendous teachable minute, uh, moment and uh, what it feels and it's not good it was very difficult to stand before them and not even render an answer to them of where we were going uh, and, you know, at, at one point we had an opportunity where our destiny was in our own hands. And we didn't do uh, the things necessary uh, for confirmation. We qualified, but we didn't confirm. And had we were sitting at five wins with four games remaining, uh, you would think that we would be able to do so. Uh, I would have bet my life on it that we would have. But we didn't do it. And so we put our hands and our destiny in someone else's uh, possession. And uh, that was the results. What do, you, what do you say about a, a, a defense like you had this year that held six opponents under 300 yards? What do you say to those those guys? Obviously, you know, played their hearts out this year. I think what we, I think we, as a team, we all played hard. I don't think uh, one position or one side of the ball played harder than the other. One may have been more productive, uh, and the results may have shown differently. But we play as a team, so I don't speak to them any differently um, than any other part of the team we went together and we finished second together and we hurt together and so I spoke to him as a team uh, but I you know I think we had one of the better defenses in the country certainly in our conference uh, that had a couple of guys that will have an opportunity uh, certainly in Marcus Davenport's uh, case that will play on Sundays. Why do you think teams with six and six records got in over a team with six and five? Um, I, I think it, you know when they looked at, at, at conference at the back end you know the thing that People remember most is November, um, and you know I know it sounds kind of ridiculous. It's kind of like when you win or when you when you lose, and us losing in the back end of the season did not help our case. Frank, was there any bowl in particular that maybe you got close closer to than another? Uh, and we kept hearing the Armed Forces Bowl. Yeah. You know, we heard the New Mexico Bowl again. Maybe yeah, the Frisco Bowl. I, yeah, I, all, all those you named had a healthy amount of respect for our program, our university. And uh, would have liked to, to seen us playing in their bowl game. I think simply because how well we've traveled, our attendance within our conference, what we did last year going to the New Mexico Bowl, uh, and the, the energy that's thriving around our, our city, around our program, is one that was appealing to all. And so, um, yeah, the, all, all those that you just named, aforementioned, uh, spoke uh, glowingly about us and the desire for us to play in their games. Coach, how bad does this hurt? Uh, is this a sting? Yeah, you know, it, it is. Yeah, it really is. 
um, because you don't like to finish that way. You, you like to give your opportunity, yourselves an opportunity to play your best football. And uh, we didn't do that uh, as a team collectively and certainly uh, offensively at the back end, we, which we could do it yet again. Uh, but we move into the second phase of our season, uh, which is recruiting and uh, start preparing to, to get bigger, faster, stronger, and, and go find some quality players that can help us win some games. You, you talked about it getting to a point where the television networks were having a voice in the decision making. Why wouldn't they want a market this size, a program that traveled like it did last year? Why would they pass on that opportunity? Yeah. Well, I'm not saying they didn't, but, but there, there are many parts to it, and I don't know why they wouldn't. You know, I, I understand, uh, and I feel the same sentiments. Um, but, you know, I, I don't have that voice. I, I can't control that. So, um, I don't know. Did you let the players go already? Message, uh, Kyle said, y'all were going to message them. Yeah. Y'all already sent some to them. Yeah, they just got some sent to them. Were you on the phone making your case or, you know, these last couple hours? Our, um, you know. our, our athletic director and president was. Coach, can you sum up what you got from this senior class? It's a group each time is kind of coming to an abrupt end. Yeah, you know, uh, a, a group that had great leadership. Uh, who played extremely hard, who stepped up and uh, and, and did things that, that a lot of people weren't willing to do. They stayed, they competed, uh, they gave us uh, a voice uh, of our team when we were voiceless in, in an attempt to give us an identity. Very proud of those young men when you think about what they've done and what they've achieved in the last two years, uh, specifically with us. Uh, we're going to do everything in our power to help now promote them as they prepare for whatever all-star games, whatever tryouts, as well as our pro day that'll be coming up a couple of them, or for sure Marcus will be invited uh, to the combine and, and senior bowl. So uh, we'll return the gesture uh, to them by uh, promoting them and giving them the, the best opportunity to market their abilities so that they can uh, have that from a football standpoint, as well as um, next Sunday, uh, be there for them, uh, the 17th, I'm sorry, Sunday after next, when they walk across the stage with their commencement. So uh, a degree in hand and a team that uh, young men that competed and qualified for two bowl games and in one case played in the other, uh, you know, is, is certainly a step in the right direction and uh, as they move on for the remainder of their lives. Frank, Frank the guys yeah. that come back, the guys that come back, uh, I know you're hurting right now, they're, they're yeah. going to be frustrated and stuff, but what will you take from this? It's another... I know you're always big about yeah. teachable moments, learning yeah. experience. You know, what is that in the off season? This push, I'm sure this will push them a little bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, I think it'll it'll teach us that when opportunity presents itself, we have to take advantage of it. That you cannot rely on or hope that someone else's uh, would see it the way that we do. That when we can control it, uh, let's take advantage of that opportunity, go out and compete to the best of our ability, and uh, and find a way even at times when it appears to be no way to get the job done. Frank, do you have a timetable for offensive coordinator? Time? Uh, I do not. Um, you know, right now um, I have a couple of coaches that are still on the road. I have the other half that are in there right now uh, that we're preparing for a practice, plan A or B, uh, or plan B uh, to finish our recruiting. And so we're going to do that this week. Uh, in short order, I'll probably start interviewing some guys. I don't, do not have a timetable when we will name someone. Uh, but we're going to start that process here in, uh, in the near future. Do you think that uh, by letting Frank go at the end there that they looked at that as a, a, maybe a sign that things weren't you know, a little bit in disarray here? Or Not at all. Do you think it was made any difference at all? Um, uh, it didn't hurt us. Yeah, it did not hurt us at all. We, you hadn't talked to uh, about why you did that. Uh, we hadn't talked to you since that happened. Yeah. Can, you, can you talk to us about that? Yeah, you know, just felt we're uh, a program that was headed in a direction uh, and uh, the leadership of our offense was somewhere um, that was going in a different route or a different direction than we were. I thought Frank Self, a guy with his uh, history and uh, background, was someone that was, was perfect for us when we started this program. He, he brought us a guy who's experienced at training the quarterback position, had done so and continued to do so here in the development of our quarterbacks. But as we move forward with our, our program offensively, we just wanted to go in a direction that allow us to be more progressive uh, and effective in, in an offensive scheme. What are you going to be looking for in the new offense coordinator? What kind of scheme you want? More like a spread power type yeah. thing? Or? Well, uh, the fit for us, a, a chemistry, a fit that allows us to maximize our talent, that uh, not necessarily hung up on 
just plays, but plays designed to get uh, the people who are most uh, effective uh, to get the ball in their hands and uh, so that we could use uh, all of our resources in each and every game and not, not some of them. Coach, what, what do you feel about the uh, talent level at your quarterback position going into the spring? Yeah, uh, I like our two young guys. Uh, we're probably going to sign two more uh, with this class, um, maybe a junior college guy or not. Uh, we just got to, if we can find someone to come compete for the starting job, that's, uh, that's our plan. Is there a position in particular that where you're going to be losing quite a bit that it was just like, okay, we've kind of, kind of addressed that position a little more? Well, uh, I think we've done a really good job from a defensive standpoint of, of building our team in a quality depth up front uh, as well as in the back end. And so we have some guys there. I think uh, offensively we, we have to replace some offensive linemen. There's a need there. I think at the running back position we, we're going to try to get somebody uh, that can come in and contribute immediately for us there. As well as at the quarterback position. Is, is this going to be a case where you will you go back and, and kind of relive some moments and think if we only had done this, second guess some things? Will, will there be any of that from you? No, we've uh, I, I relive them daily. <laughs> <laughs> I relive them daily uh, when they happen, while they're happening, and after they happen. So I'm not a span. Like yeah. <laughs> You got that out of your system. Yeah, so we I'm do the good. same thing, Frank. We do the same thing in our <laughs> So I'm good with it. Uh, no, just uh, very optimistic about uh, about our program. Uh, I still think we're heading in the right directions. I think the the standard, the expectation, the bar has been set that uh, you know that you better win seven or more. You know that's the expectation here now for sure, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, and for that to be the minimum. And so uh, we have a challenging schedule before us. Uh, our guys got back in the weight room this past week. We'll continue these last two weeks before they uh, get a stretch into finals here. Um, the uh, seventh and eighth will be quiet time for them. They'll start their finals on the ninth, and uh, but they'll have weight room sessions and, and things of that nature. Then they'll take a couple of weeks off during the Christmas break, and uh, we'll get back here uh, the Sunday before the start of school on the sixth, I believe it is, and. Um, six or seven and uh, prepare to, to start the spring semester. Um, have a couple of weeks there of intense training before we start our winter workouts, uh, fourth quarter drill, which will then propel us into uh, into March for our uh, spring football. Frank, how close were you guys to adding the 12th game at the end of the schedule? Uh, last, this past season? Yeah. You know what? Um, we There was talk about it early on, uh, but, you know, to be truthful with you, Jay, it was, it was more or less for someone else to benefit themselves to get eligible. Uh, if we felt at that time we needed to win six and we needed, and it, it helped UTSA, I'm for helping UTSA. But I'm not, you know, trying to be used to help someone else uh, become eligible uh, for whatever reason. And so um, I thought the right decision was made there. Uh, again, I say we, we got five games, one with four remaining. You know, you got to feel you can win two of those. Thanks, Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can I get your name? Cool.